Hi, Jenny. I want to make an appointment for liposuction. Oh, okay. My 20 year high school, let's be honest, 25 year high school reunion is in three weeks and I want to have oh, full body liposuction. Okay. Will that work? No, cancel your appointment immediately. <laughs> or cancel the reunion. You're I want the, the liposuction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, liposuction is a long game. Like, you can't have liposuction and in three weeks feel like you're going to be right back to where you want to be. Like, yep. it's a good nine months, isn't it, to, like, see final results. To even a year. It probably is the plastic surgery procedure that, even though we've talked about, mm -hmm. has the teen tiniest incisions mm -hmm. and works really great and it's permanent. But it takes a long time for our bodies not to swell yes. as a reaction uh -huh. to the trauma. Yeah. So <laughs> I do tell people it's the most emotional mm. surgery to recover from because we took an area that you already weren't too crazy about and then we made it look worse. We made it puff up a little and bit. And we made it a little numb <laughs> and then we made it itchy and then we made it feel bruised and then we made it black and blue. It's gonna be and great. And <laughs> three months in, you're still feeling heavy in that area. That's a really tough mind game yes, to get is. through. So I used to walk people through, I swear, we took the fat out. I saw it, <laughs> we threw it away, it's gone. Your body just has mm -hmm. to deal and get rid of of that swelling. So I really like to tell people, just like you said, mm -hmm. this is a long game recovery. Most people do take off five to seven days, depending on where mm -hmm. you have the liposuction. Yeah. Like you just did this little area, I did. two days, you'll be fine. You gonna do all of this? Five, six, five to seven. seven days, you're gonna kind of feel like you were in a little fight club situation. A little. And bruising is tender. So you're going to oh, yeah. be moving slow. Mm -hmm. But again, this is a really good conversation to have in depth with your patient care coordinator mm -hmm. and your surgeon. Okay, you know what areas I'm having. Yep. You know what my lifestyle is like. Tell me all the things. Mm -hmm. When can I drive? How long do I have to wear this compression garment? When can I go swimming? When mm -hmm. can I do all of these things? I like how you mentioned compression garment because I feel like that helps a lot of women mm -hmm. feel more snug and yeah. tight yeah. and reduces a lot of that fluid too. So if you have a garment, Make sure you wear it. Yeah. Because I know a lot of people at like two weeks are like, yeah. it's like, no, no, no. Keep that thing on. Most surgeons ask you to wear that for six weeks mm -hmm. straight. So a lot of people use that information to plan this, not at the peak of summertime. <laughs> Sweating and a compression garment sounds terrible. Nope. So a lot of people do this in the fall and winter yeah. when it can be easily hidden under clothes. But don't wait until three weeks before you're trying to look good to schedule your liposuction. Right. This is a good six to nine month long game that hopefully you should only have to do one time. If you're researching plastic surgery, you're gonna wanna hear this. The video you just watched was one of hundreds of educational plastic surgery videos that you can find in the completely free Bust Mob Academy app. Go download it in the App Store. That's right, and that's not the only free resource. We have tons of them that the team at Amelia Aesthetics has built with you in mind. Yep, so you ready to start researching? Watch this video right here to learn about all of the benefits and resources available to you in the Bus Mob community.